Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Troy Sterling and you're watching a makeup video. Too Faced sent me their entire new peach collection, their Peach Perfect collection. I wish I saved the videos from my Instagram story. I did it because I'm an idiot, but they just released like a whole bunch of, they released an entire line of all this peach stuff and peach goodness and it was like the cutest thing ever and literally everyone in my life has been asking me like questions about it since I uploaded those Instagram stories so I was like okay maybe people actually want to see a video of this so I figured that I would just do like a full face first impressions of this entire line now I do have to say that like I have used a a few of these products like since I've gotten it so like I've used the foundation and I've used the setting spray and I've used the palette but other than that everything else is like a first impression and I also have like a few other products on my face that aren't from this line like a concealer a bronzer um, lip gloss like just like little stuff like that but pretty much everything else is just the collection if you guys are new to my channel and uh, want to subscribe and by me saying I want you to subscribe I'm saying like subscribe um, just hit that subscribe button down there and uh, join the Starling fam it's a good time I post makeup videos and fitness videos I do it all if you guys are part of my Starling fam hello welcome back I've missed you it's been a couple of days it's been since Thursday how have you been let me know in the comments down below and also while you're there say hey to any new people all right so without any further ado let's get on to the video all right let's get started first off I'm gonna start with the cooling matte skin perfecting primer I haven't done a makeup vid in so long oh oh wow okay so first off I use too much but um when it says matte it's literally like no no joke completely mattified and like 0.2 seconds. Also, look at this. I know it's like a mess. It's a mess. It's a freaking mess. But like, wow. I don't know if you guys can like tell, but there's like not an ounce of shine where I put this primer, and it feels really tacky, which is a really nice feeling. I am a little worried though because I have used the foundation before, and the foundation did feel pretty drying. So with a matte primer underneath it, I'm really like skeptical right now of how drying this is actually going to be. For the foundation today, I'm using the shade Sand. This is the Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. And I've used this before and also clearly I'm self tanning. So I need my foundation to be a little bit darker. And if this looks too dark, which I'm sure it's going to like it does right now, just don't flip your lid. It's going to be fine and it's all going to work out in the end you have to just have a little faith in me okay it really does look like skin so if you want coverage i would say do like a couple of layers because it is pretty light to medium coverage um for me all that i really see the difference of it doing is changing the color of my skin to match my neck um, i don't really feel like i get coverage from it or anything so if you're a light to medium coverage gal i think you would like this and also if you're oily i definitely think that you'd like this if you're on the drier side i think that this actually might just be like a little too dry for you because it really is just so dry all right, so here's the foundation when it's on. Personally, I think the foundation is a little blotchy. Um, I think I just think that, I don't know why I think that. It's just so matte that like it just seems so one dimensional. When dewy foundations tend to always have like a little bit of dimension and just kind of look like skin. This to me just looks a little bit blotchy, but once I finish the rest of my face, it's fine. I don't love this foundation. It isn't like my new holy grail, but like it is a really great foundation. It's just, it's not the best. And it just seems a little blotchy for me, but that's just my personal opinion so this is where i get a little bit confused because they sent over these um three things this is only two this is the third um and they are melting powder bronzers but melting powders of highlight bronzer and blush but when you feel it it feels like a cream and it goes on like a cream and i'm guessing it sets into a powder so i'm just going to treat this as a cream bronzer right now so I'm just going to put this on my temples right here. I always use a cream bronzer and a powder bronzer, so it's really nice that they actually did include this. But I'm definitely going to go over it and set it and put another bronzer down too. Um, everything, by the way, is infused with peach, so like it just all smells really, really good. And this scent reminds me of the Too Faced event that I went to. I don't know if you guys remember that vlog that I put up like a year ago. Um, but I went to the launch of the Too Faced Peach Palette, like when they released it and then they took it off the market and then they re-released it with like an entire line. Um, I went to that new launch 
and the entire venue smelled like the peach. Okay, I really like this color. I think it's a really nice, natural, not orange, not muddy bronze shade. All right, before I move on to a concealer and the highlighter, I'm just going to do my brows off camera and my concealer off camera, and then I'll come right back on for the highlighter of this um, collection. Now I'm gonna move on to the cream highlight. So this is the Melting Powder Highlight, but I ripped off the name by accident, so I don't know what it's called. Same deal, I think it's like a cream to powder ordeal going on right here. So we're just gonna place this right here. I never really understand cream highlights. That color was pretty, even though I sort of blended it out because that's what I do. Oh, it was pretty. Now we're gonna move on to powder and setting the under eyes. So this, I've been using this for a couple of days and I love it. This is the Peach Perfect Mattifying Loose Setting Powder and I really, 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 really like this. I've never used it to bake so like I don't know how flashback is with it. I know that I really like it as a setting powder for underneath the eyes. And anywhere that I put concealer, I use this powder. And as you, as you, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it just, it brightens and it is a good job. And it's like a pretty little peach pink undertone, but it doesn't darken your highlighted areas, which is important because I know some powders that are like tinted tend to darken up your highlight, but this just keeps it bright. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of bronzer. Now they did send over bronzer, but it's a little confusing because it says radiant matte bronzer, which radiant and matte in the same sentence is a little confusing to me to begin with. But it's also confusing because it has shimmer in it and it has like highlighters and pinks in it. So I'm gonna use this on my cheeks. So for the rest of my face, I'm just gonna go in with NARS Laguna bronzer. Um, and just put this like on my cheeks and on my temples and um, up here and down there and everywhere. Okay, so I'm kind of rethinking this matte cream bronzer that I use because now I think I just look really muddy actually. Which I didn't think that I did look like that, but something changed and now I just look a little bit muddy. For highlight, I'm just going to keep it in the fam and this is the Peach Sweet Peach Glow. Um, it's like the trio that was released um, a few months or about a year ago at this point. I'm just going to take the highlighter part of it and use this to highlight. Then every time I put highlight on, I just feel like it makes my face just look so like divided. So um, that's where I'm going to go in with the bronzer and just like revisit and undivide my face. <laughs> a different, this is just a bigger powder brush and I'm going to take this because it has like the pinks and the golds. Oh wait, um, okay. So I just did that and then the whole top layer of the golds just came off. So, but it's still like, it still has a little sheen to it. I don't know, the whole radiant matte thing just, it's getting me. I'm just going to put this right here on my cheeks. Pretty. It's pretty. They did also send like an actual blush, so I'm just gonna do like a little love touch of blush. I really don't like blush, I'm not a big blush person, but because they have it, I'm just gonna do it. It actually says that it's a translucent, smoothing, finishing powder, but it's like pink. So, oh, I guess it is translucent, but it's pink. Okay, let's just. I don't, I don't freaking know. It's like pink, but it's like not pink. I don't, I don't know. So the, this palette I was like in love with. Too Faced posted this on their Instagram and I literally commented. I was like, oh my God, like this is the palette of my dreams. And it truly is. So it's called the Just Peachy Mattes. And it's literally a palette of just peach toned mattes. And it is beautiful. Like I have been using this palette nonstop since the day that I got it. I'm so obsessed with it. So I'm just going to show you guys like the everyday look that I do with this because I'm just, I have like a lot of stuff to do today. So I'm not trying to be hella extra, but, um, if you guys want me to do like an extra tutorial with this or any other sort of look, let me know. And I definitely can, because I am just so obsessed with this palette. It is so beautiful. So first off, I take this shade right here called Fresh Picked and I take this on a MAC 224 
and I just throw this in my crease on both eyes. I've always really liked peach tones also just because of my blue eyes. I always just think that, you know, of course they're going to make my blue eyes stand out a lot more, but they're also just, they're neutrals, like they're neutral colors and I just really dig them and this is like the palette of my freaking dreams. Then I take like this brush, it looks like a MAC 217, I go with the same exact color and I just buffer this on my lid and just get it up there into my crease. Just so I have like a wash of color all over. Then I'm gonna go in with um, a legit MAC 213, or yes, it's MAC 217, MAC 217. And I'm gonna take this shade right here called Peach Cobbler. Some days I'll mix this with this one, and then some days I'll mix this, this, and this. It just depends, like if I wanna be like more pinky one day, like I'll throw this one in the mix, or this one in the mix, sorry. But like, today I'm just gonna be pretty simple. I'm just taking a little bit of peach cobbler. It's pretty much the same exact tone as fresh picked. It's just like one shade darker and I just like to throw this right here on my outer crease just to give me a little dimension right there. And then I just go back in with my blending brush and blend that out. Super simple. Everyone's going to be like, oh my god, all you look the same. This isn't a tutorial. I go back with this little like dome shaped brush. I love this brush. I think it's from Crown. It's like my favorite brush ever. And I take fresh picked which is the first color that we use, and I just run this along my lower lash line all down there. And then like some days, again, if I'm feeling like a little extra peach, I'll just throw a little bit of this color on my lower lash line just to make it pop a little bit more. Then I'm gonna take this shade right here called Chocolate Dipped. It's like a purpley black. Um, it's like just a really dark purple color. And I'd put this on my upper lash line as like eyeliner, just to smoke out my upper lash line. And then whatever is left on the brush, I'll just like sweep it along my lower lashes. I'm not really pressing hard at all. And that's literally my eyeshadow that I've been doing every single day. Um, I'm just gonna highlight with Nylon by MAC and I just put this on my inner corner and underneath my brow bone. This isn't in the palette, but I did want to include it just cause like, I don't know, I do it every day. I like to rim my eyes with a black eyeliner. I just really like it when my, I don't know, and I think blacks and peaches look really good on like light colored eyes. They just make them pop. All right, I'm just gonna throw on some mascara and then I'll be right back. I'm just gonna use um, Benefit They're Real and Too Faced Better Than Sex. So they did release lipsticks with this and I'm honestly not a huge lipstick person at all like I really only like lip gloss so I'm just gonna put on a little bit because they sent it so this is called Sunday Sunday very appropriate because today is Sunday Sunday is always fun day Sunday fun day just putting on a little bit it's a really pretty color and maybe we'll put on a little bit more okay Sunday fun day get it girl I freaking love this color come on and then i'm just gonna put on a little bit of lip gloss over top of it this is turkish delight by nars it's like one of my staple nudes this collection has everything from a primer to a setting spray so we are going to use it today so this is peach mist mattifying peach spray let's gather my thoughts and let's do the final thoughts of this collection. So yeah, final thoughts. I really think that overall this is a really great collection. Do you need every single thing in the collection? No, I don't think so. Um, the foundation, I'm like so iffy about it. It's just like a little blotchy in some spots and like honestly if I didn't, I don't know, like if I were to match my actual complexion, I don't really think it would even add that much coverage. So for me, the foundation is the only thing that I'm like really iffy about. But, I mean, what foundation doesn't work for me could be someone's holy grail. So, like, don't take what I say, like, too, too to heart because, I mean, everyone is different. And, of course, my absolute favorite thing in the entire collection is this palette. It's just, like, the best palette literally ever. So, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you do, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And also, let me know in the comments down below what other videos you guys want to see. I have many more fitness vlogs coming. I have um, a What I Eat in a Day high school slash college vegan edition, which I know you guys are pretty excited for. And I have a bunch of other videos planned out that I know you guys are really going to like. So, yeah, let me know down below. And I'll talk to you guys all in my next video. Be sure to subscribe. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video or on Instagram, wherever I see you next. Bye.